Well, hello, everybody. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond. Um, welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Today's date is August the 9th of 2015. And I have a message to bring to you all um, in follow-up to Nikki, Nikki Pratt's video, The Lord's Answer to Idol Worship, Repentance, God's call to repentance. And that's a follow-up. It's a follow-up to her other video. And she's got a new one up. She just put a new one up. Um, warning to warning to the leaders. Uh, God's warning to the leaders. I can't remember exactly what for sure what the name of it is, but it's something about warning to, to the leaders. So I don't know. It's it's I'm sure it's a good one too. God bless you, Nikki. Onward Christian soldiers, right? Right. Okay. So, all right. If you want to follow along with me, everybody, I love you. God loves you. And welcome again to my channel. Okay. Genesis chapter 6, uh, verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Okay. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might he might be revealed revealed in his time. Seven. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Okay? Two Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fifteen. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this in this place. Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 1 through 20 1 I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved 2 and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. For, behold, his soul which is lifted, which is lifted. I don't like this when these pages stick together. Oh. Okay, sorry about that, people. <laughs> okay. It will not tarry. For behold, his soul, his soul which is lifted. Lifted up. It's not upright in him, but the but the just shall live by his his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heareth and heapeth unto him all people I've read some of this before okay uh, and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heareth and heapeth unto him all people six shall not all these take up a parable against him and say woe to him that increase increase Increaseth that which is not his, how long? And to him that laid, ladeth himself with thick clay. Seven, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that, that shall vex thee? And thou shalt be, be for booties unto them. Eight, because thou hast, hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land of the city. And of all that dwell therein. Nine. Woe to them that coveteth an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Ten. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people, and hast sinned against thy soul for the. For the stone. For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Twelve. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and, and establish a city by iniquity. 
13, Behold, it is not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very, in, for very vanity. Vanity? 14, For the earth, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. 15, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that puttest thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken, also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy, thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and, sh and shame, shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Wow. 17. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee, and the spoil of the beasts which made them afraid, because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land of the city, and of all that dwell therein. 18. What profiteth the the graven image that the maker thereof hath hath graven it, the molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusteth therein to make to make dumb Wow, wow, wow. Amen, amen. To make maketh dumb idols. Woe unto him that saith to the wood awake, to the dumb stone arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it twenty but the lord is in the, his holy temple let all the earth keep silence before him one corinthians chapter six verse nine know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers abusers of themselves with mankind put our total faith in him two finances etc. 3. He determines the end from the beginning. 4. One, one person, idols, little g-gods, the little g-gods, the, uh, the idols. It doesn't matter what it is, what it is, if you put it above the Lord, it's classified as an idol. Amen. Hallelujah. And like I said, these crosses to me are not idols. They're not idols. They just represent who I represent and what I'm all about, and that's Jesus Christ. Now, some people might think that I that, that I do think of them like an idol. No, I don't. Some people might say that I'm all painted up like a Jezebel. No, I like color on my lips when I when I'm doing my videos. Yes, and a little bit of eyeshadow once in a while, and I don't consider that as being like a Jezebel. So, in case anybody thinks that. I'm one jump ahead, because he doesn't care if we if we put a little bit little bit of color color in our face. He doesn't care, you know. I mean, we're not Jezebels. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to get on here and do that do this one real quick. I, I I like to read from the Bible, from the Bible too. I mean, and this was all copied down out of the Bible, as you know, if you if you if you follow along if you follow along with me, but. We are all working together. It seems like Nikki and I are working together. It, it's kind of, again, it's it's like all being in one mind and one accord. Getting, getting the word out. Getting the word out. That we are in the last days, the very last days. And we are called to repentance. We have to come to repentance. We all do. We all do. And I love you all. I love you all. Gloria Harlow Drummond loves everybody, every one of you. To all of my subscribers, to the ones who, who are viewing my videos, I love you all. And you're all in my prayers. Precious Heavenly Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Something else is going on, too. I've been hearing locusts. We've been hearing locusts during the daytime. And not too long, long ago, there, there was news reports about locusts eating up the crops. And what does the Bible say about the Lord sending the locusts? See, that's some, another sign from the Bible. I don't know if you can hear hear him in the background or not, but I mean, I, yeah, I mean it's eight o'clock at night now, but um, 
I've been hearing them during the daytime too, and that's a little bit, that's a little strange, a little odd to hear locusts in the daytime. <clears throat> so anyway, like I said, um, my, my cold is a whole lot better. My cold is a lot better. And um, so um, I'm feeling better too. I'm feeling better. And um, I love you all. And Nikki Pratt, my dear sister in Christ, I love you very much. Thank you for your messages to me. Tess, I love you also. Thank you for what things that you've said to me and, and TC uh, to all of you. I love you all and thank you for supporting me and standing by me and bearing with me on some things <laughs> and so to God to God be the glory and thumbs up and eyes to the sky because we know not when our Lord will come. We know not when. We, we know not the day or the hour. And that's very true. So I'm going to get off here now. It's over 11 minutes. I'll get off here now. My storage is starting to go down some. I mean, it's gone. It's going down. So, alrighty, it's about 8 o'clock, like I said a while ago. It's about 8 o'clock. So I'm going to get off of here for now. And I may come back on after a bit. I think I'm, I may watch Nikki's video, her new one. I may watch that one. So God bless you all. Again, I love you, Sister Nikki. Tess, all of my and all my subscribers, and like I said, I do have a new one. I have 26. I have 25. I have 26 now. So I would like to know who my my 20 26th one is now. So, all right, I love you all. Okay, until my next video. God bless you. Okay, bye bye.